let's transition to the NFL where Hall of Fame quarterback Tom Brady hopped on Stephen A's podcast to give his take on the state of the NFL. Take a listen. I think there's a lot of mediocrity in today's NFL. Yeah. I don't see the excellence that I saw in the past. Why not? And Why not? I think the coaching isn't as, as good as it was. I don't think the development of young players is as good as it was. The rules have allowed a lot of bad habits to get into the actual performance of the game. Mm -hmm. So I just think the product, in my opinion, is less than what it's been. I think I look at a lot of players like Ray Lewis and Rodney Harrison and Ronnie Lott and guys that impacted the game in, in a certain way. And every hit they would have made would have been a penalty. Mm. You hear coaches complaining about their own player being tackled and not necessarily why don't they talk to their player about how to protect himself? We used to work on the fundamentals of those things all the time. Now they're trying to be regulated all the time. Offensive players need to protect themselves. It's not up to a defensive player to protect offensive player. A defensive player needs to protect himself. I didn't throw the ball to certain areas because I was afraid players were going to get knocked out. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. Wow. I didn't throw it to the middle when I played Ray Lewis because you knock him out of the game and I couldn't afford to lose a good player. Really interesting. Uh, I want to start with you here. Do you agree? With 100%. Yeah. 100%. I mean, he's preaching. When, when you talk about um, the way that our game has been, and, and listen, we, I am all for player health and safety and making sure, but we have gotten to a ridiculous degree on making sure that guys are, you know, protected in a certain way. And it, what it's doing is slowing down the game and it's making it become a game of finesse instead of physicality and at some point we as as football players understand that physicality is what trumps in our game and you have to have it but right now everything is everything is a penalty everything I mean <clears throat> you think about last year with Chris Jones you, if you watched last night when Chris Jones was tackling uh Hurts, Hurt. He fell like intentionally on the side, right? Yeah. Like, Jesus. like, yeah. And, like, it has completely changed the game, and I'm all for it. But if there was a moment where he couldn't do that, mm -hmm. and he does fall, is that a penalty? Are we extending drives because of all those things? Those are the ones, those kind of tweeners that, for me, have to get legislated. Where, hey, man, we got we, we let the players play and work it out from that. Aspect. Well, they definitely legislated the physicality out of the game. The game was based on, and its true premise was based on intimidation. Right. Because you might do it one time, but I promise you, you won't come over this middle again. Right. And what has transpired is that the guys have gotten bigger, stronger, faster, but the rules are put in place. Do you see more offense? And now you got guys like, well, this guy's better. I'm like, bro, really? You think because they've changed the game. Yeah. You know that in all sports. They've changed it in basketball. The game is more spread open, Stephen A. And so we got players that are like, that would be really average in a different era. People think they're like, they're goats. And right. they're superhuman. Right. But I will say this. Everything Tom Brady has said is true. But he also benefited from those rules also. No doubt. He benefited. The quarterback played because now you can only hit the quarterback yeah. from, in his numbers. Right? Yeah. Anything below, they changed the rule. They hit yeah. the pocket in the knee. Right. With Bernard yeah, but, 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 I, but you could say that he benefited, and I don't disagree with you. I guess what I'm asking is, is that a good thing? Because what we've lamented, we were talking about this yesterday, yeah. and we've been talking about this over the last few weeks, the how the quality of quarterbacking and mm -hmm. the quality of play overall has dissipated dramatically. We don't see the same level of quality play particularly from the quarterback position. You see some of the starting quarterbacks in this league, some of them look like they don't even belong in the league. Right, so right. when you look at it from that perspective, isn't it more important than ever before to protect the stars so they can be out there playing football? I think Saturday and I can both attest. There have always been bad quarterback play in the Absolutely. NFL. There have right. been, always been like four elite quarterbacks and then there are other tiers. Yeah. But can you imagine – if these quarterbacks, a lot of these quarterbacks had to play in the era in which we grew up in, right. where you could actually punish the quarterback, right. how bad do you think the quarterback play would look, Stephen A? Right. Yeah, well, you can't, you, you can't punish the quarterback now. You can't intimidate. You can't land on him. You can't hit. You can only hit him in, in, his, in his numbers. If, 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 and Tom is right. And I don't understand why, because you do more teaching now. You don't tackle. Yeah. The only time you That's tackle the, is in the game. Right. That, and, and that's part of, the, part, part of the issue is our game has been – um, it became, basically becomes seven on seven, yes. which, which is like, uh, for those who don't know, that, that means it's like receivers and DBs, mm -hmm. QBs, running back, but it's just a bunch of routes on air or routes on each other out there and doing that. But because what has happened is, and they've allowed 
they've allowed defensive backs to get penalized so often that they play off the way they cover. Everything is about coverage, rally to the tackle, those kinds of things, as opposed to what he's talking about. You wouldn't throw that post because that's going to come down and put a hammer on somebody. Yeah. So that receiver, he's he's listening. He's looking. He's kind of doing one of those. He gets those alligator arms because of the intimidation yeah. that but, came from the Brian Dawkins of the world like the back. And but again, that's just players. What do y'all make of what he was saying about the developmental phase where you got coaches that ain't developed? Well, they don't players. have to coach it any, they don't have to coach it anymore because it's it's illegal. So they don't even consider it anymore. They don't worry about that that backside, whatever. They're just, hey, we're gonna run it. So we're gonna put it in the scheme because if they do do it, it's a penalty. Right, we're gonna we're gonna extend the drive. We're gonna do whatever, so they don't coach against those finer points of hey, no, bend it back this way. You know, come downhill as opposed to letting it float this way because that guy's gonna blow you up. Literally, that was half of our conversations in practice. Peyton would literally tell the guy, hey, you, you gotta, gotta come work that back, down, back down. You gotta work back, or that dude's gonna come and he's gonna knock your block off. Right, mm-hmm. we'll be carrying you off. The, the term would be you're gonna get carried off boots first. If I heard that a hundred, I heard it a million times Absolutely. in practice. You're going to get carried off boots first. You run the play that way, and that's what's going to happen. Stephen, they don't talk like that anymore. Stephen A., they run routes now that I never heard of a one-step slant. Right. You would never, never, ever run a one-step slant with Ray and Erlacher and all those old school guys. They would literally, you, be, you might be looking this way, but it would be through your ear hole. That's exactly right. <laughs> 